Lithium hydride is an inorganic compound with the formula LiH. This alkali metal hydride is a colorless solid, although commercial samples are gray. Characteristic of a salt like ionic hydride, it has a high melting point, and it is not soluble but reactive with all organic and protic solvents. It is soluble and non-reactive with certain molten salts such as lithium fluoride, lithium borohydride, and sodium hydride. With a molecular mass of slightly less than 8.0, it is the lightest ionic compound. Physical properties LiH is a diamagnetic and an ionic conductor with a conductivity gradually increasing from 2 times 10 minus 5 ohms minus 1 centimeter minus 1 at 443 degrees Celsius to 0 0.18 ohms minus 1 centimeter minus 1 at 754 degrees Celsius. There is no discontinuity in this increase through the melting point. The dielectric constant of LiH decreases from 13.0 static low frequencies to 3.6 visible light frequencies. LiH is a soft material with a mass hardness of 3.5. Its compressive creep per 100 hours rapidly increases from 100% at 475 degrees Celsius, meaning that LiH can't provide mechanical support when heated. The thermal conductivity of LiH decreases with temperature and depends on morphology. The corresponding values are 0.125 with CMK for crystals and 0.0695 with CMK for compacts at 50 degrees Celsius, and 0.036 with CMK for crystals and 0.0432 with CMK for compacts at 500 degrees Celsius. The linear thermal expansion coefficient is 4.2 times 10 minus 5 per degree Celsius at room temperature. Synthesis and processing LiH is produced by treating lithium metal with hydrogen gas, 2 Li plus H2 2 Li. This reaction is especially rapid at temperatures above 600 degrees Celsius. Addition of 0.001 to 0.003% carbon, or, an increasing temperature or, and pressure, increases the yield up to 98% at 2 hour residence time. However, the reaction proceeds at temperatures as low as 29 degrees Celsius. The yield is 60% at 99 degrees Celsius and 85% at 125 degrees Celsius, and the rate depends significantly on the surface condition of LiH. Less common ways of LiH synthesis include thermal decomposition of lithium aluminium hydride, 200 degrees Celsius, lithium borohydride, 300 degrees Celsius, N butylithium, 150 degrees Celsius, or ethylithium, 120 degrees Celsius, as well as several reactions involving lithium compounds of low stability and available hydrogen content, chemical reactions yield LiH in the form of lumped powder, which can be compressed into pellets without a binder. More complex shapes can be produced by casting from the melt. Large single crystals about 80 mm long and 16 mm in diameter can be then grown from molten LiH powder in hydrogen atmosphere by the bridgman stockbarger technique. They often have bluish color owing to the presence of colloidal Li. This color can be removed by post-growth annealing at lower temperatures approximately 550 degrees Celsius and lower thermal gradients. Major impurities in these crystals are Na 20 to 200 parts per million ppm, O 10 to 100 ppm, Mg 0.5 to 6 ppm, Fe 0.5 to 2 ppm, and Cu 0.5 to 2 ppm. Bulk cold pressed LiH parts can be easily machined using standard techniques and tools to micrometer precision. However, cast LiH is brittle and easily cracks during processing. Reactions LiH powder reacts rapidly with air of low humidity, forming LiOH, lithium oxide and lithium carbonate. In moist air the powder ignites spontaneously, forming a mixture of products including some nitrogenous compounds. The lump material reacts with humid air, forming a superficial coating, which is a viscous fluid. This inhibits further reaction, although the appearance of a film of tarnish is quite evident. Little or no nitride is formed on exposure to humid air. The lump material, contained in a metal dish, may be heated in air to slightly below 200 degrees Celsius without igniting, although it ignites readily when touched by an open flame. The surface condition of LiH, presence of oxides on the metal dish, etc have a considerable effect on the ignition temperature. Dry oxygen does not react with crystalline LiH unless heated strongly. When an almost explosive combustion occurs, LiH is highly reactive toward water and other protic reagents. 
LiH plus H2O Li plus plus H2 plus O minus LiH is less reactive with water than Li and thus is a much less powerful reducing agent for water, alcohols, and other media containing reducible solutes. This is true for all the binary saline hydrides, LiH pellets slowly expand in moist air, forming LiOH, however, the expansion rate is below 10% within 24 hours and a pressure of 2 tor of water vapor. If moist air contains carbon dioxide, then the product is lithium carbonate. LiH reacts with ammonia, slowly at room temperature, but the reaction accelerates significantly above 300 degrees Celsius. LiH reacts slowly with higher alcohols and phenols, but vigorously with lower alcohols. LiH reacts with sulfur dioxide. 2 LiH plus 2 SO2 lithium sulfide O4 plus H2 Though above 50 degrees Celsius the product is lithium dithionite, LiH reacts with acetylene to form lithium carbide and hydrogen. With anhydrous organic acids, phenols and acid anhydrides LiH reacts slowly, producing hydrogen gas and the lithium salt of the acid. With water-containing acids, LiH reacts faster than with water. Many reactions of LiH with oxygen-containing species yield LiOH, which in turn irreversibly reacts with LiH at temperatures above 300 degrees Celsius. LiH plus LiOH lithium oxide plus H2. Applications Hydrogen storage and fuel with a hydrogen content in proportion to its mass three times that of Na, LiH has the highest hydrogen content of any hydride. LiH is periodically of interest for hydrogen storage, but applications have been thwarted by its stability to decomposition. Thus removal of H2 requires temperatures above the 700 degrees Celsius used for its synthesis, such temperatures are expensive to create and maintain. The compound was once tested as a fuel component in a model rocket. Precursor to complex metal hydrides LiH is not usually a hydride-reducing agent, except in the synthesis of hydrides of certain metalloids. For example, silane is produced in the reaction of lithium hydride and silicon tetrachloride by the Sundermeyer process. 4 LiH plus silicon chloride 4 lithium chloride plus silicon hydride Lithium hydride is used in the production of a variety of reagents for organic synthesis, such as lithium aluminium hydride LiAlH4, and lithium borohydride LiBH4. Triethylborane reacts to give superhydride LibHet3. In nuclear chemistry and physics Lithium hydride LiH, is sometimes a desirable material for the shielding of nuclear reactors, with the isotope lithium-7 and it can be fabricated by casting. Lithium deuteride Lithium deuteride, in the form of lithium-7 deuteride, is a good moderator for nuclear reactors, because deuterium H2 has a lower neutron absorption cross-section than ordinary hydrogen H1 does, and the cross-section for Li7 is also low, decreasing the absorption of neutrons in a reactor. Lithium-7 is preferred for a moderator because it has a lower neutron capture cross-section, and it also forms less tritium H3 under bombardment with neutrons. The corresponding lithium-6 deuteride, 6LiH, or 6LiD, is the primary fusion fuel in thermonuclear weapons. In hydrogen warheads of the teller ulam design, a nuclear fission trigger explodes to heat and compress the lithium-6 deuteride, and to bombard the 6-lid with neutrons to produce tritium in an exothermic reaction, Li6 plus N to He4 plus H3. The deuterium and tritium, both isotopes of hydrogen, then fuse to produce helium-4, 1 neutron, and 17.59 MeV of free energy in the form of gamma rays, kinetic energy, etc. The helium is an inert byproduct. Before the Castle Bravo nuclear weapons test in 1954, it was thought that only the less common isotope lithium-6 would breed tritium when struck with fast neutrons. The Castle Bravo test showed accidentally that the more plentiful lithium-7 also does so under extreme conditions, albeit by an endothermic reaction. Safety 
LiH reacts violently with water to give hydrogen gas and LiOH, which is caustic. Consequently, LiH dust can explode in humid air, or even in dry air due to static electricity. At concentrations of 5 to 55 mg per cubic meter in air the dust is extremely irritating to the mucous membranes and skin and may cause an allergic reaction. Because of the irritation, LiH is normally rejected rather than accumulated by the body. Some lithium salts, which can be produced in LiH reactions, are toxic. LiH fire should not be extinguished using carbon dioxide, carbon tetrachloride, or aqueous fire extinguishers, they should be smothered by covering with a metal object or graphite or dolomite powder. Sand is less suitable, as it can explode when mixed with burning LiH, especially if not dry. LiH is normally transported in oil, using containers made of ceramic, certain plastics or steel, and is handled in an atmosphere of dry argon or helium. Nitrogen can be used, but not at elevated temperatures, as it reacts with lithium. LiH normally contains some metallic lithium, which corrodes steel or silica containers at elevated temperatures. References External links University of Southampton, Mountbatten Center for International Studies, Nuclear History Working Paper No. 5 CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards